Welcome to eGroupware. In this tutorial, we are going to install eGroupware on an Ubuntu 16.04 server in ProfitBricks cloud hosting environment. We will only provide some brief explanation about how to create server, network and storage within ProfitBricks. You may find more documentation on ProfitBricks.com. All instructions regarding eGroupware installation itself would be still valid outside of ProfitBricks environment as long as using an Ubuntu 16.04 server. The first part of this tutorial is a short explanation of how to build up an Ubuntu server on ProfitBricks data center. If you think this is not relevant to your environment, you may skip to minute 5 of the video. In order to create our installation on ProfitBricks data center, first we need to prepare the infrastructure to be able to access from outside. Therefore, we drag and drop an Internet access object from the left side box into our data center. As you see, the Internet access object now is available and ready for being used. The next step would be to create our server. Simply from the left side box, drag and drop a server object into the data center. On the right side of this platform, you will see another side box which contains all properties of the selected item. For instance, the number of CPU cores, amount of memory and the server name. In this example, we set them to one core of CPU, two gigabyte of RAM and the server name usually would be the domain name that you would reach out to your server. Now we switch to the Network tab in order to configure the networking by simply clicking on Add NIC. As you see, we now have a network interface card which we can connect to our Internet Access object. To do so, simply drag a connection line from the server's network interface node and drop it on the Internet Access object. We have our server connected to the Internet Access object via LAN 1 network which as soon as we provision the server, it will get a DHCP IP address from the Internet Access Network. Of course, you have the option to not use DHCP IP by unchecking the DHCP option. You can also add additional IPs or add firewall rules into your network. The third tab is Storage, where we can add our desired medias into our server by clicking on Add buttons or simply dragging and dropping the storage media into our environment. Drag and drop an HDD storage into our environment. Now let's configure the storage by setting its size to 16GB and load the image of Ubuntu 16.04 server from the image select box. Now we have password, SSH keys and ad hoc SSH key options available, so we can set the server root password and add our SSH keys in order to get SSH access to our server. The last thing to get the storage ready is making a connection between the server and the storage. Simply drag a connection line from HDD object and drop it on the server object. Now comes the time to provision all changes we've made so far on this data center and apply them permanently by clicking on provision button located on bottom right corner. Our server is created. We have fully configured a running server with a signed DHCP IP address.
Before we continue, let's visit the eGrouper installation instructions page on GitHub. Then click on Ubuntu from the content. Here we have all details of eGroupware installation on Ubuntu which will help us to install eGroupware properly. In top right corner we have a button to open a remote console to our server. Or as we already set SSH keys, we can get access via SSH by opening a terminal and type SSH root at the IP address of our server. Now we are logged in as user root. It is highly recommended activating auto update in case it is not activated and always keep the server up to date. In order to run eGroupware, we need to have three main components. PHP module, database module and a web server. If you'd like to know about minimum requirements, please visit our installation instruction page on www.egroupware.org and open the download page. The eGroupware package installation for Ubuntu 16.04 will install all those necessary components. As you see, there are all supported operating systems listed in this page. Just click on Ubuntu and check how to add eGroupware package into Ubuntu. Please copy the first line and paste it into your terminal. Now we have the package listed in sources list. We just need to update the list and install the eGroupware package. Here we configure the eGroupware header admin user. This user can change global configuration settings in setup section. The next user is the admin user. Now we set the desired language and continue. Here in this step we set the database user. EcoPair uses this user to make connection to our database. When the installation process is over, we can check installation logs where EcoPair keeps information regarding installation plus setup and login credentials. To do so, check the content of the file ecoper epl install.log. As you can see, the setup username and ecoper username, including their passwords, are stored here. This log also tells us that the installed ecoper is available under configured domain name. You may remove this log file if you prefer not to leave it on your server. eGroupware installation is almost over and we may log in to our installed eGroupware. However, before proceeding, logging into eGroupware, let's go and take care of the last and important part, some PHP adjustments which will help us to get the best performance. To do so, please open PHP INI file on the web server. In our case, this file would be under path etc php 7 apache 2 php.ini Then search for date time zone variable and change it to your local time zone.
The next variable to configure is max execution time. By default it is 30 seconds and we need to configure it to 90 seconds. Please check memory limit to see if it has enough memory available for a script. 128 MB would be a good default. Another variable to configure is session GC max lifetime. Usually by default it is set to 1440 seconds, equivalent to 4 minutes. That amount would be too short for working with a web application. Therefore, we increase it to 144,000 seconds, which means 4 hours. Upload max size and post max size are the last variables we need to tune. Increasing upload max size allows to increase the amount of file size for uploading. Setting a higher value for post max size allows to increase the amount of post data that PHP will accept. After we save all our changes, in order to apply them, we need to restart our web server. Now let's log in into eGroupware with the admin user that we created during the eGroupware installation. In this occasion, Sysop is our username. As you see, there are two users already created, Sysop and Anonymous. We can check if our PHP adjustments have been applied correctly by clicking on PHP information from the admin sidebar. Congratulations! You've managed to set up eGroupware on Ubuntu 16.04 server.